Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. How are you students? Today we will study Basic Electronics Unit number 16, lecture number 27. This lecture is based on revision. Basic Electronics. In Basic Electronics, we in Electronics are in Basic Electronics we study flow of charges. Flow of charges and path of electric current path of electric current path of electric current means electrical circuit electrical circuit electrical circuit electronics is the branch of physics which deal with the emission of electron the emission and effect of electron and the operation of electronic devices. <coughs> Electrons emission and their behavior in semiconductor. Electronic circuit and their replication. Thermionic emission. Thermionic emission is the emission of electron from metal surface due to absorption of heat. So when you heat metallic surface when you heat a metal surface, emission of electron will take place. The emission of electron, <coughs> the emission of electron from, from a metallic surface due to absorption of heat is called thermionic emission. Thermionic emissions is shown in the diagram: vacuum, electro, uh, metal plate, cathode, anode, heater, and diode. This is cathode. This is anode. So when uh, you heat a metal surface, uh, electrons are emitted uh, and attracted towards the positive anode. Thermionic emission. Is uh, electron is emitted from a uh, filament of the bulb at 2000 degrees Celsius. If you heat the metal surface uh, filament tungsten to 2000 degrees Celsius, uh, electrons are emitted. Uh, the emission of electron. From that metal surface is called thermionic emission. Factors affecting temperature of the surface, nature of the metal surface, surface area of the metal. Temperature, more will be the temperature, more will be the emission of electron. Also depend on the nature of the material, atomic structure. Uh, surface uh, more will be the surface area, more will be the emission of electron, analog electronics. Those quantities which changes, which, which remains constant, are continuously changing. Are continuously changing. It's called analog quantities. Temperature of the day is changing continuously, so it's a analog quantity. Density is analog quantity because it remains constant. Temperature, uh, uh, pressure, light intensity, these are analog quantities. This is tran uh, transducer is not in your course. This is the graph are analog quantities because it represents various values various values different values temperature this is analog graph analog analog these graph represents analog uh, graph or analog quantities this is the red and the gray is both are analog graph digital quantities those quantities which have only two states false true false right wrong yes no one zero digital electronics use only two states one zero 
and the whole data is provided in binary relation for example if you want to write 22 uh, 20 20 if you want to write, uh, write 20 in in a log form you just do it two tens are 20 zero is remainder two fives are 10 zero is remainder two twos are four one is remainder two ones are two zero so one zero 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 one one zero one zero zero this is the uh, uh, digital form of 22 now uh, 20 adc adc means analog to digital converter analog to digital converter it is it is a type of circuit which convert analog quantities into digital quantities uh. so if this is the graph for analog quantities and represents analog quantities if it is passed through adc then it is converted in, into the um, digital form dac means digital to analog converter adc this is analog graph adc converted into digital form this is the graph for analog quantities analog signal this is digital so it's a comparison it is only written in binary relation form the graph will be different DAC a, di a digital to analog converter takes a digital code as it in uh, dig you will give digital data to DAC in digital form and it will be processed and display and the circuit will display it in analog form so data is given in digital form and it is processed in digital form and then it is kind of displayed in analog form boolean equation n gate this is the truth table per n gate this is the truth table per r gate this is the truth table per nand gate a nand gate this is boolean equation per uh, n gate and this is boolean equation per r gate this is and operation zero 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 you will do it i will draw the circuit diagram the circuit diagram is resistor a b this is symbolic representation this is circuit diagram for uh, and gate and this is the truth table for and gate if we want to convert it into an and gate we will draw another column writing the same table and here c prime will be considered zero one 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 zero so this table uh, this will become the true table par nand gate now r gate you can see diagram boolean equation par r gate is a plus b par nar gate is par nar gate is x is equal to a plus b bar zero 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 one one zero one zero one 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 now this is a this is b this is x is equal to a plus b bar sorry x is equal to a plus b 
power uh, r gate and power nar you will write x is equal to a plus b now you can see this is the circuit diagram for uh, nand gate uh, nar gate the current will go through this path if this is closed this is one the output will be zero the current will not flow through this path if you disconnect it it is not connected you cut it then current will flow through this path so output will be one it doesn't mean that there is no current at the input not function this is the symbolic representation for not gate this is the truth table for not gate this is the boolean expression this is nand gate symbolic representation in discrete form in integrated form integrated form and discrete form both are uh, display on the screen nand gate to table for nand gate x is equal to a dot b this is for this zero 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 one this is for and gate this is output for and gate this is for nand gate this is the symbolic representation and the boolean equation is x is equal to a dot b bar this is the truth table for symbolic representation for nar gate this is boolean equation truth table nar gate application 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 of logic gates range of application of the logic gates is, is is very wide but the main headings would be include to build more complex devices like binary counters for decision making in automatic control of machine and various industrial process in calculator and computer in digital measuring techniques in digital processing communication and in in musical instruments games and domestic application we use this one now for example in this chapter we start from basic electronics first we will go into detail of gate with this, uh, regarding to gate you, you must remember the boolean equation first write the boolean equation boolean equation for example i write the boolean equation for and gate is x is equal to a dot b so you will construct a table table a b x is equal to a dot b 0 0 1 1 Zero one zero one. This is zero according to the equation. This is zero zero one. So the output will be zero zero one. The output will be one only if a is equal to one, b is equal to one. When a is connected, b is connected. Uh, there will be current. Uh, there will be in uh, current at the output. Otherwise not. So. With respect to gate, you must remember Boolean equation. Equation. The second thing that we must remember is truth table. Truth table. The third is Boolean equation. Truth table. and uh, symbol symbolic representation
symbolic representation. So, Parnard Gator, Parnard Gator, Boolean equation is x is equal to a bar. This is the Boolean equation, Parnard Gator. The truth table is input, output. 0 1 1 0 x is equal to a bar if a is equal to 0 you will take 1 and this is the uh, symbolic representation this is the input there is only one input for n not gate and this is the symbolic representation this is the symbolic representation now I will go into detail of thermionic emission. Thermo ionic emission. Thermionic emission is the process in which emission of electron take place due to absorption of heat process in which emission of electron take place due to absorption of heat is called thermionic emission now a comparison if you make analysis analog quantities are difficult to, uh, to analyze digital signals can be possible to analyze representation is continuous discontinuous digital are discontinuous and analog are continuous accuracy more accurate analog quantities are more accurate digital quantities are less accurate infinite memory analog quantities have infinite memory subject to noise yes digital no easy uh, digital quantities can be easily stored original signal signal is preserved in analog quantities sample of the signals are taken and preserved in digital electro uh, quantities human voice thermometer analog phones etc all these are example of analog signals computer digital phones digital fins etc these the analog quantity digital the example of digital quantities are not possible actually we convert analog quantities into digital quantities uh, and is processed in a digital way digital quantities those quantities which can be uh, which have only two states uh, maximum states and minimum states uh, on off two extreme position top or bottom Analog have continuous, continuously changing changing or remains constant. Factors affecting thermionic emission. One is the temperature, nature of the metal, surface area of the metal. Surface area of the metal. Uh, uh, home assignment 
is symbolic representation of diode symbolic representation of diode symbolic representation of diode fuse write a short note on fuse why fuse are connected in series combination in series way <clears throat> just do it for fun and uh, the other electrical devices and symbolic representation for other electrical devices symbolic representation for other electrical appliances for example resistor resistor capacitor open circuit close circuit battery single battery and batteries thank you students this is your home assignment do it allah hafiz